welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the really bad lighting. It's so makeshift right now and it's really hard for me to try and get to film during the day and I kind of want to try and put up more content for you guys as well. So I'm kind of filming at night right now so the lighting is really, really bad. So anyways, today I'm going to review, wait for it, I'm going to review <laughs> Uh, an As Seen on TV product. So I was just walking through the As Seen on TV section at Walmart, uh, not Walmart, Target, and um, it's super small, but I saw this. It is the Spin Broom, and the Hurricane Spin Broom, dun, 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 and it is, says it's the number one bestseller. So we will find out today if it is actually worth the buy, and if it does exactly what it says it will do, which, and I quote, no batteries, cords, or bags, cleans wet or dry messes, one touch bin, empties in seconds, and is super lightweight. So, we're just gonna test it out, see if it actually does what it does, and if it's something that could maybe help people, I guess, out, I don't know. Now, I have not actually seen any type of, um, infomercial for this i just saw it in the store and you know what it reminds me of uh like when i was younger my parents had something similar it would just kind of like glide over the carpet and had a little roller thing and it just sucked up some um debris and stuff like that so that's what this kind of reminds me of so right off the bat i'm kind of like well it's not like a super new product out there but we're gonna go ahead and test to see if this thing actually does what it says it's gonna do so here is the spin brush in all its d um deconstructed glory <laughs> it has three parts to the handle it also comes with the bristle brush right there to clean out the bristles it does come with directions and then also we have the head which mine came in dirty um, but we're gonna put it together and see how it works and see again in the bristles are like kind of wonky on that one But we're just gonna go ahead and see if this thing actually does it actually work So it says you have to apply some pressure when you push down on it Oh, 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 it's kind of like shooting everywhere Picks it up, but then it like just kind of also like distributes it everywhere and I don't have a very big kitchen to demo this but I mean overall it like did what it said and you can like hear it inside so the food definitely went in I mean not all of it some of it kind of like spit out but yeah I mean that actually kind of works let's see if it works over here so I guess like it takes the stuff and like pushes it towards the center but you can see there that it like left it and it might be because it's on like a little bit of like a carpet thing i'm not sure yeah i mean it surprisingly i didn't think this thing was gonna gonna work at all and you can even i guess if you wanted to like pull it towards you know that this would necessarily replace like everyday like sweeping and stuff so like as you can see like it wouldn't necessarily like get into the corner and it would be kind of hard to like maneuver as well like you'd have to like maneuver it a lot to empty it there's like a latch Oop. I guess it Ugh. don't do that so there's so it does spill out depending on <laughs> How you're holding it? Let's just uh, grab that. Ah, they all came out. It's faulty. <laughs> so um, don't tip it in uh, the downward direction, which I don't know how you're supposed to empty it without like tipping it. So let's just let's just reclean our mess. See how you actually empty this without it spilling everywhere. So I guess just like tip it. And then you're supposedly supposed to just like un latch it some somehow. I don't know how. I 
Okay, I'm having technical issues. So let's read. And every time, like, it keeps, like, spilling out, too. So it's kind of annoying. So let's just consult the directions. How to empty. So you just hold it over. Again, don't tip it forward because everything falls out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it like opens up right there, but you can see like it's already dirty inside. And then I guess you just like shake all the contents out of it. And you're good, but it did pick up like some dog hair and like little crumbs and stuff. So that's pretty cool. The materials and oh no, it just spilled. <laughs> Um, so let's see if it picks up a, um, let's see if it picks up a wet mess. I'm thinking it might mean like wet food and my dog's trying to eat it again. Chance, get out! I don't have it. I swear it's better meant. Okay, so let's see if this actually works. Which I'm assuming it'll pick it up. I don't know if they're really like soggy enough. So, I mean works so it's got these um and there's chance sniffing the trash so it's got these um two outside bristles and then the middle bristle and basically how it works you can see here how it has like the black rubberized track so basically that is what is on the ground and it's pretty much spinning these bristles inwards so that the the product not the product the a mess goes towards the center and then these bristles are supposed to suck it in towards the middle here. All right guys, so I'm just trying to empty out the pan with the wet ingredients, or wet ingredients, the, <laughs> the wet mess. Um, and as you can see, it's like all like stuck in. It's not really coming out. So you kind of really have to like get in there, which I think is disgusting personally. So you have to like really get in there and like flick it off and hope it doesn't like stick to your fingers but it's like all stuck to the sides and it's like I don't know ew and the bristles are all wet but it's like I don't know if you can see it's all like wet inside and it's kind of gross so I'd imagine if that cereal was actually like in milk or something like that that would be nasty and sticky so you'd probably have to take the time to wash it afterwards um I don't know. I don't think that this is practical as much for like wet messes just because of the extra cleanup time when you can grab a few paper towels, clean up the wet mess, throw the paper towels out, spritz your floor and be done. This product is definitely better suited for dry messes. I'm like in between on this one like it definitely works it does exactly what it says it's gonna do but I don't really feel like it's necessarily worth the buy it's just easier to grab a broom sweep up the mask throw it out then grab this little doohickey gadget thing here <laughs> honestly I do think it's just a gimmicky product I don't think that it's a necess uh, I don't think it's necessary and I don't understand how this can be the number one best seller. Like seriously, buy a broom or a vacuum. It does the same thing. So, so yeah guys, so honestly, I'd say this is more of a gimmicky product. Save your money. I don't really think it's worth the buy. So yeah, anyways guys, I mean, that was pretty much it. Let me know what you think down below. I don't think it's worth it, but you guys tell me. Maybe you guys think it's worth it. Maybe there's another use for it that I'm not aware of. So, but anyways, leave your comments down below if you like this video and want to see more like this. Give it a huge thumbs up button. And to become a member of my sweet bread community, be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.